each and every one of you here this morning. Look at the beautiful people. You know, God said we should always love each other regardless of who they are. And I love each and every one of you. So here's your great big hug. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I greet each of you in the matchless and the marvelous name of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. We're going to ask uh, Reverend Dr. Jean Cobb, the pastor of St. Luke United Methodist Church, if he will come at this time and give greetings. Let us give him a hand as he come forth to do that. Well, good morning. We welcome you to St. Luke United Methodist Church where the dream is still alive. A bigger and a better and a more wonderful day is coming. And you can count on it. Because of people like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And each of us who hear God's voice and respond to it in the way that we're doing. Someone said to me just a little while ago, uh, we're glad you had us back. Well, if you go anywhere else, I'm gonna be hurt. <laughs> we love having this gathering here every year. And we hope, we hope that you have found a place here you can call home. Because that's what our God has made, is a, an earthly home for us now because a heavenly home is coming. Amen. Keep the dream. Welcome. Can we thank you for that wonderful welcome this morning. At this time, we're going to ask uh, Templeton Congregation of Choir if they will come and lead us in our opening song. Let us all stand as they come to lead us in precious Lord. And the song is found on the back of your program. Wait a minute, do you want me to say my name? Yes. Okay. I'm Pastor Gene Cobb of St. Luke United Methodist Church, and we're here today to honor Dr. Martin Luther King, who not only was one of the greatest preachers of all time, but was one of the great moral leaders of the 20th century, who impacts my life to this day because of his impression on all of us to have a dream to move forward and to make a better world, to work for God and do His will. It's a real honor to be here today uh, in Sanford at St. Luke's um, to commemorate and to remember Dr. Martin Luther King. And what I most admired about Dr. King was his message of inclusion and his message of love and his message of respect. So today I want everyone to remember that we need to be respectful of each other and we need to love each other. And I think that's what Dr. Martin Luther King wanted of all of us. So uh, I encourage everybody to think about that today. Uh, let's, let's work as a state and as a country to respect each other. And, and let's, let's work to, to help people uh, that are less fortunate than us. Uh, there's a lot of people that, that have issues that we, need to, to, uh, that we need to make progress in. And, and I'm working in the state right now to do a lot of things, especially in mental health, behavioral health, uh, the opioid crisis that's going on, and also uh, just looking at the whole uh, penal system that we have. We've got a lot of people that are in jail right now that have mental health issues. So uh, uh, that's what I'm committed to and I'm working on. So I encourage everybody today to uh, remember Dr. King and all the things that he stood for and the things that he reminds us of. Have a great day. My glass is straight. Uh, today we are here to honor the legend of the Dr. Martin Luther King and you know he fought for civil rights and he fought for riding school buses, all this stuff he brought into force and today, today we are here to celebrate that occasion. Thank you. As we're together today to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, it's evident that his dream is still alive all people coming together regardless of their background for a common purpose and that purpose is to love and support one another. Hello I'm Sheriff Tracy Carter and uh, it's an honor to be here today honoring Dr. Martin Luther King, um, his birthday. 
And uh, I can say without any reservation that America is a better place because of him and, and so is Lee County and Sanford. Hey, Dr. King was an amazing man. His strategies, his methods of how and to find freedom and equality was, he had it all. And so we, we look up to him today because of those uh, characteristics that he had that we may fight with today. We're well, honored to be here today as we are celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, on his birthday. And truly, he was pushing education. And he always said, just do the right thing. Us coming together is doing the right thing. Martin Luther King, a man of great dreams. Dream the dream that cannot be that killed. Dream the dream that shall go on forever. Don't worry about Martin, because he done got his dream. We just need to make ours. A great man brought forth a lot of things, but we thank God that God was with him, and he could continue to be a blessing from now until. God bless you. Yes, I'm former representative Leslie Cox and I want to wish our friend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. a happy birthday. If he were here today he would tell us we're going in the right direction but we still got a distance to go. So happy birthday Dr. King. I'm here to celebrate the, doc, the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, as a young boy I, I I thought he was the greatest, and uh, I really respect all the work he did, and I hope that what I do, I'm a jazz musician, I hope that what I do helps bring all the people together too, and uh, through Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and jazz, I think there's just so much that the African American people have brought to America. And I try in my own little way to help make people aware of all the great things he did. So, thank you.